I'm like really digging these snowflakes, guys. I wish the snow outside was as sparkly as that. Especially that one. Christmas is over. January sort of like, we're like in the midst of January. What's next to look forward to? Valentine's Day? Do people look forward to Valentine's Day? I don't know, is that like a thing? My sister's wedding is coming up though. Pretty excited about that. I was gonna do a whole video on it and then I'm like, I'm not gonna have time. So I may do some Snapchat. So if you're not following me on Snapchat, you should go, you should go do that. Okay, let's get into this. I don't know what this was. Very excited today. Hello everyone, I am here today to share with you my drugstore favorites from 2015. 10. 10 of them. And last week I shared with you guys my high-end favorites, so go and check out that video if you have not already. Let's get into this. So first I want to talk about my favorite bronzer, which actually isn't a bronzer at all. This is the NYX Sunkissed Radiant Finishing Powder. Yeah, I am that pale. And as you can see, I have hit pan. Hit pan on this stuff. I love it so much. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, but like... Only in the light do I see any sort of a golden glimmer. When you put it on the skin, you don't notice it at all. So I'm sure it would be an actually a really nice finishing powder for those of you that are not as pale as myself. And I have self-tanner on, I should clarify. I am I am about six times paler than this in my normal, my normal form. You know, every once in a while I gotta, you know, change it up, add a little bit of a tan, <laughs> throw people off in January. I add it typically to the temples, around the cheekbones, like a little bit, not really contoury. Like this isn't like a contour powder at all, like not even kind of a little bit. And then along the jawline, maybe into the neck a little bit if I need to blend anything out and it's just a really, really nice powder. So, been loving that. Number two on my list, we'll just go into like another skin product because you know, why not? And this is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Concealer um, and this is in the shade Fair, which is the one that I use under my eyes usually. And then for um, everywhere else, I use the next shade up, which I can't find right now and it's really upsetting me. But this is a really good concealer. It isn't too thick so that you can put it under your eyes and not get any sort of like creasing or anything like that, but it still has really, really nice coverage. So I, I, like, I don't know what's in this that makes it fancy. Oh, here we go. It even tells me. Opti Blur Technology. Instantly blurs the look of lines, spots, and under eye circles. There you go. Whoa, hold on. Flammable until dry. I feel like I've talked about this before. That frightens me slightly, but all right. Just don't use it near an open candle, all right? All right, people, stay safe. So while I tend to use a ton of different concealers, and I like trying new things out and I find a lot of great favorites. This is always the one that I go back to and it is definitely my staple. Should I do another skin product? No, no, we'll switch it up, we'll switch it up. We're gonna go on to the eyeballs or um, just like the lids. Don't put this on your eyeballs. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Smokissime Powder Eyeliner Pen. I love this thing. It is in the shade brown, but I also have it in taupe and I have it in plum as well. And they're all really beautiful. What I really like about this is first of all, the applicator makes it really easy to apply. It goes to a point, but it does have a lot of product around the outside as well. So you get this really nice smoky look, but you have a lot more precision with it than you would with a fluffy brush or with like you know, comparing it to like an eyeliner, it's much more forgiving. And if you like the smoky effect or you want sort of a subtle cat eye-ish effect, uh, actually go and check out the video that I did in December. Was it December? I don't remember. I think it was December. I will link it in the cards um, if you guys are interested because I did use this product in it and I showed you how to do sort of a modified cat eye-ish um, look with this product. So you can go and check that out. But yeah, Definitely a staple for 2015. Next I have two lip products I want to share with you. So the first one is actually this one in particular, but I do like a couple of other ones that I want to share with you that are on the list, but like not on the list. This is the Maybelline Mattes, a collection of lipsticks. And this is in the color Mesmerizing Magenta because I heart this color so much. It is so beautiful. Definitely for me more of a spring summer color, but oh my gosh, it's gorgeous guys on the lips, super saturated color, just a really gorgeous flattering shade of that purpley pinky magenta tone. I'm obsessed with as you guys know. Other ones within this line that are more on the nude end that I also really, really I love when my camera just cuts me off. Just like, you're, you're done talking. You've talked enough today, Rachel. Love a mesmerizing magenta, but if you're looking for more of a 
uh, more neutral base, I have two suggestions that I really love that I'm going to grab out of my drawer. Hold on. One of them I'm wearing on my lips right now, mixed with another color, which is also a favorite, which I'll include and talk about in a second, but it is a Touch of Spice. This is definitely more of a nude pink to me, comparing to the other one that I absolutely love, which is Lust for Blush, which I also used a lot of, but again, more of that pinky tone neutral. Both of these are beautiful, beautiful colors. I only used a tiny bit. What I tend to do is I tend to like sort of dot it almost on my lips and then use my, my finger to kind of smudge it out. And then you get this really nice sort of a stain look. It's really, really pretty. But this whole line is really beautiful. Highly recommend it and I like, yeah. That's all I have to say. The other one that I'm wearing on my lips that I also want to talk about because I heard it a lot is the uh, CoverGirl Jumbo Gloss Balm Creams and this is in berries and cream. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's basically the same as Touch of Spice, but it has a little bit of a glossy finish. Not like a gloopy, gloopy. I always make up words when it comes to like tackiness of lip gloss. You know how lip balms almost have that little bit of a glossiness to them? If that makes any sense, it's kind of like this. And this one is a little bit more of a berry tone than the very, very neutrally nude of the Touch of Spice, but still absolutely gorgeous. I have it on top of Touch of Spice right now and I love this color. It is really, really wearable. Great color to kind of throw in your purse and have with you on the go and yeah, love this. And we're back to the face products. For highlights, this is more towards the end of 2015, but I use it a lot when I'm not using my um, Champagne Pop, that's the name of it. Love Champagne Pop. But if you're looking for a good drugstore product that's gorgeous, highly, highly recommend the Flower Beauty Chubby Highlight Stick. And this is in Pearl Shimmer, which is a gorgeous, goldeny glow kind of a shade. It's a more subtle version of Champagne Pop, but still gives that nice sort of a highlighty glow to the skin. Really pretty. Um, I bought this from Walmart in case anyone is wondering, because a couple of people were asking me where I bought the Flower Beauty stuff from. So they are carried, I think, exclusively at Walmart. Not 100% sure, but that is where I bought mine. And uh, yeah, really, really gorgeous. Then on to a BB cream that I loved for 2015, in particular for spring and summer, because that's when I tend to use BB creams the most, but this one is gorgeous, really, really recommend it. And it's the NYC Smooth Skin BB Cream, the bronzed radiance one. So ridiculously pretty. This one is in light, but they also have medium and dark, depending on your skin tone. This does give you some nice coverage as far as BB creams go. However, what I really, really like about it, it does, is it does have that sort of a bronziness to it. So when you apply it to your skin, you just get that nice healthy glow, which is gorgeous in the spring and summer in particular. And I find I can just apply this and then set it with a little bit of powder and I'm done. And I don't have to worry about anything else because I do have that bronziness already in there. It's um, just a really beautiful finish and I really, really like it. For setting powders, I have been really enjoying this one, I would say towards the latter half of the year, but I picked it up, I think, in the spring. And this is the Bourjois Paris, or however you pronounce it. Don't actually know. And this is the Healthy Balance Matte Finish with a natural healthy glow. It always confuses me when it says that. Why? And why is the E missing? Why is it M-A-T-T? I don't understand. Is this like a French thing that I don't know about? Perhaps it probably is. But I do really like this because it does mattify, but it's not too mattifying. Like it's not gonna look really drying or powdery on your face. And it's a very, very fine powder. And so I find that if I just kind of tap my brush into it lightly and sort of dust it on my face, you do get some nice, like a little bit of coverage. It definitely smooths everything out. It doesn't make you too, look too flat. I think I bought this from Shoppers Drug Mart, so I don't know where you would buy it otherwise. I'll look for it online and I'll try and find some for you guys. But yeah, really, really been liking this powder for 2015. And then the last pro, oh, oh no, we're not at the last one. Sorry, not the last one yet. This next one is a quad of eyeshadows that I love so much. And I've talked about a ton in 2015, but I wanted to bring it up again, obviously, because it was clearly a favorite of mine. And that is the CoverGirl quad in Notice Me Nudes. Oh my gosh, this is such a perfect little quad. If you're looking to get started in eyeshadows in any way and you want something that's like a really good neutral that you can translate from something that's very neutral for every day to something a little bit more glam and smoky for nighttime, this is a great one. And the reason I really like this, 1A, I am obsessed, obsessed with the highlight. Oh my gosh, it is so hard for me to find a really good highlight and this one does such a good job with it. It is beautiful, beautiful color. And it also has a matte shade. As you can see, I've almost hit pan on it, almost. It's just a great everyday product. It also goes really nicely on wet 
as well as dry, which is also a nice thing. So if you're looking to add a little bit more of impact with the color, so for example, for this color, it looks gorgeous when it's wet. Um, that's a great way to go as well. I also have the gold, golden gold, golds, I don't know what it's called, but that one I tend to use a lot of wet because I find that you get a lot of really amazing impact with the color and it gets this really golden glow and sheen and super frosty and gorgeous. So it looks really, really nice on the lids, but this one is a very good everyday palette and so I highly recommend it. And then the last product I am also wearing on my eyeballs. Did I tell you that I was wearing the CoverGirl on the eyeballs? No, I don't think I did. I'm wearing CoverGirl on my eyes right now. But I'm also wearing on my eyes is the L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Linear Intense Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner. And this is one of my favorite liners for a couple of reasons. Number one, the brush itself, which is not a brush. It is actually a felt tip, felt tip liner, felt tip brush. I don't know what it's called. It has a little bit of flexibility to it. It's thick enough that it's forgiving, but also thin enough that you do get a very precise line if you're looking for one. It is very black and pigmented, which I also really love, and it just makes it really easy to create any sort of line. They flattened two of the sides of the brush, like, applicator. Makes it really, like, a lot easier to draw a really precise line. And, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about it really good black liner. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you love these sort of best of 2015 videos. If you have any requests for videos, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to go and check out my high-end favorites where I talk about my 10 favorite must-haves from 2015. And if you want to see like a skincare video, let me know in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up so I know. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat and all that fun stuff. I hope you guys are having an amazing start to January or I suppose you know well start to January 2016 in general it's gonna be a good year I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you guys all in my next video love you girls Mwah.